wrote A Home A Year because it was the book that I was looking for. I really wanted to find a way to bring our faith home. I went on a journey of researching and learning all about different traditions throughout the world, not just in America and not just in one particular faith. In addition to Martha Stewart, I also have a fondness for Anne Lamont and her truth-telling, the way she just kind of really says what she thinks in a home a year. I wanted to give women a voice that said, I like pretty things, but I also have hard times. And one of my biggest fears with the book is that it's so pretty. People will think, this is unrealistic. Who can do all this? My dream is that you will find a few things in here that will become your family's traditions. It's never meant to be a standard. It's meant to be an inspiration. You are not alone in your desire to bring your faith home. None of the crafts in the book are terribly, terribly hard. I wanted children of all ages and all skill level to be able to come to the table, put their hands in some glue, get their hands on some scissors, and go to town creating things that would help them in their journey. Some people have asked me if a homemade year would be a good fit for small groups, Bible studies, Sunday school class, even sewing circles, and I think that it absolutely would. The chapters are bite-sized enough in the narrative. With the projects, you could pick one. If you have a cooking club, maybe you want to pick the recipes and do the recipes out of the book. I hope that you will see A Homemade Year as an inspirational book, as a book that inspires you to try new things and to learn new things about God's story and your place in it.